Find the area of a sector formed by an arc subtending an angle of pi by pi. This is in radians and the center having a radius of 12 centimeters. So I worked this uh, problem out. So this is it's always good to draw a diagram whenever you have an example. So this is a circle with center O and uh, say this is A and B. This is point A and this is point B. Imagine OA is a wiper. So OA has moved from OA or from A to B. And the angle that it forms because of the movement from A to B is pi by 5. So I hope you know that 2 pi radians is 360 degrees. So which implies pi radians is 180 degree. Okay. So this is one fifth of 180. Okay, so I'm not going into that. So we want to use, uh, you can use, I'll use a formula later on. First we'll do without the formula using proportional thinking. So let us look at this. So I've made two columns, one for angle, one for area. So what are we saying? That when this wiper OA moves one full turn, which is 2 pi, or 360 degree, we are working in radians, so we are talking in radians, which is 2 pi. So when this wiper moves 360 degree or 2 pi radians, it has traveled, or it has covered an area of pi r squared. Now, r is 12, r is 12 centimeters, so r squared is one, 12 squared, which is 144. Okay, so because 12 times 12 is 144. That's why I wrote pi r squared is nothing but 144 pi. So in other words, when the wiper moved 2 pi radians, it has covered an area of 144 pi. So my question is, if it has covered an angle of pi by phi, what is the area? And that area is nothing but this area of this sector, this shaded portion. So using proportion, the same, you can say, well, 2 pi divided by pi by phi is equal to 144, di uh, 144 pi divided by pi r squared. Okay, so this is a ratio is equal to this ratio. This is a ratio of angles and this is a ratio of area. Okay, now you can cross multiply, uh, now before cross multiplying, uh, dividing by Dividing by one fifth is same as multiplying by phi. So this phi in the denominator goes up and gets multiplied with two pi. Okay. Or suppose someone is saying what is phi divided by half. So basically you're dividing five in halves. So phi has if you divide phi in halves, how many halves will you get? Which is ten. Or this is same as phi times two. Let me show this on a calculator. 5 divided by half is 10. So 5 divided by half, 1 ABC2. That's 10. Okay. Uh, 5 divided by half means you're asking the question when you divide 5 in halves, how many halves do you get, which is 10? This is the same thing. This 5 goes up and gets multiplied with 2 pi. So this becomes 10 pi divided by pi. So pi and pi gets cancelled. So this is 10 over 1 is 145 over area of sector. Now cross multiplying, you can get 10 times area of sector is 144 pi. And that is same as dividing both sides by 10. So this 10 and this 10 gets cancelled. So area of a sector is uh, area of sector is 144 times pi divided by 10. So let me move this. So I've used a calculator. Let me delete this. Okay. So I don't need this now. So using a calculator, uh, let me show you 144 times pi divided by 10 it is 45.24 in 2 dp. That's the answer. Now, those who like to remember formulas, so there's a formula, need formula, area of a sector when dealing with 
radiance area of set I did a video on this is half r squared theta the theta should be in radians so with 0 0.5 times 12 squared times pi by 5 so let us do this so this is 0 0.5 times 144 times pi divided by 5 so let us use a calculator so that is 0 0.5 times 144 times 5 divided by 5 which is 45 point that's what we got 45.24 this is using the formula and this I have shown how to do using proportional thinking 